Hi, welcome back. This is Sanjay Kumar Burma from Unikaksha. So my dear friend, in this session, we are going to discuss about of how to attach a data disk with VMS Trans in GCP. So in the earlier session, we have already discussed how to create a VMS Trans in Google Cloud Platform, right? So my dear friend, we know that because when we are creating any instance, so by default, Google Cloud offer a boot disk where my operating system is there. So ethically, you don't store any kind of your important data in the OS disk. Why? In any case, your OS is going to crash. That means you can't retain of your data. That's why in the industry, we have to attach a additional disk with your instances generally for example you have a laptop or desktop so you can attach the external disk in any case your laptop disk or desktop disk is going to crash so when you have a backup of your data in your external disk sorry external disk you can attach of your disk anywhere and you are able to access of your data same thing in the google cloud platform when your server is running in the cloud how will you store of your data that's why we have a attach a data disk or you can say additional disk with your instances right so let's get started so this is my google dashboard and my one instance is already running which is name is web1 so my dear friend if i will hit the lsblk list of the all block devices so now you can see I have a OS drive, the size of disk is 25 GB. I don't have any other drive, right? So now point is that, how would you attach, correct? So don't take tension, jump inside the compute engine, then you have to find out the disk, correct? Yeah. So currently you can see this is the OS disk. The size is 25 GB. I don't have any other disk. So what to do? We have to create a disk. Okay. Yeah. So you can define the name of your disk like a, which name is data disk. Correct. You can define the description. This is my data disk right you can define it correct so location one more thing my dear friend make sure in which region and in which availability zone your vm instance is running might be you are creating of your data disk in different region or different az then it will not connect of your instance so make sure in which region and in which az your current instance is running so in our case my this virtual machine is running inside the india and uh, in india we have a two data center one is mumbai and other is delhi so my this machine is running in delhi data center inside the ap south 2a correct so your data disk should be available in a same region and same availability zone correct so now this is a blank disk correct and if you have an image you can take it if you have a snapshot you can do but in our case this is the blank disk correct disk type we have a different different disk type so i am going to take the balance persistent so because the cost of the disk is low compare than extreme persistent correct and now it's going to offer 100 gb my dear friend 100 gb is too much for me so what to do minimum you can take 10 gb and maximum you can take 65536 gb you can calculate like uh, 65 tb so 10 gb is sufficient for the demonstration purpose right so i want to create the snapshot no correct now by default google will provide the encryption of your data Correct. If you want to add the uh, label, you can add data disk, right? And what to do? We have to click on create. 
So creating data disk, you can see, please wait. It's under process. It's a creating my disk. So friends, my disk is ready. Now you can see the size is 10 GB and now correct. I don't want to create any snapshot. So any point of time, if you want to attach with this disk to a new instance, you can create new instance. If you want to take the snapshot, you can create the snapshot. If you want to delete this disk or if you want to create clone of this disk, you can do it now. So let me check now the disk is available on my machine or not. Actually friend, now you can see the disk is not available on my machine. Actually the disk is available in my account. Currently this disk is not attached with my machine. So what to do? We have to attach of this disk with my instance. So how to do? So my dear friend, you have to add it off your instance. So jump on your VM instance. So you can see this is my VM instance, correct? Select this one and you can do click over here. Right? So you can get the detail of my instance, right? This is the detail where my instance is running all the thing. So what to do? You can check out HTTP is on, HTTP is on, right? So we have to click on edit because I am going to attach a disk with my instance. You can assume like that. So network, where is the disk? Yeah. So this is the part of the disk. So are you want to attach a new disk? And if you have a existing disk, you can attach. Click here. So let me check now. This is my data disk. Okay. And now go down and you have to click on save. Please wait. Guys, please have a patience. It's going to save of my settings. So friends, you can get the detail, correct? So this is my OS disk, the size is 25 GB. This is my boot disk and this is my local disk. The size of the disk is 10 GB, correct? Okay, when I'm going to hit the again LSBLK, then now you can see the 10 GB is available, right? This that is SDB and this is my 25 GB. So what to do? Let me assign the file system. So mkfs dot ext4 tab sdb right perfect create a mount point mkdir slash data right data file adjust sorry no problem this is already adjust so I can mount with this tab sdb where data perfect df-h-t now you can see the disk is mounted with this so here let me go inside the data folder sorry and we have to create some file i'm creating blank file sanjay dot txt please create 10 file do the ll perfect if you want to copy another file, then cpc passwd in the current folder. This is available. You can also copy cpc shadow file. Sorry, shadow la. Wow, like that, you can attach a data disk or additional disk with your instances. Then you can take the backup right in any case suddenly your instance is going to crash delete or terminated no problem this disk will be available in your account and you can retain off your data to create a another 
virtual machine instance and you can attach off your disk with that instance and you are able to access off your data like that. So this is the idea behind of this. Thank you so much.